Sorry, sorry. They were wicked. Do you know what Jesus said to them? Jesus turned to them and said, Women, stop crying for me. Stop weeping for me. Weep for your children. If you see the revelation there. He said, if they can do this, when they leave, is green. Is dried. Do you understand what you are saying? You see, you are seeing your God, Almighty God, face to face. Yet you are still living evil. Not only living evil, yet you killed him. Upon all the miracles he has shown you, which is green, there's green light. This is life. He said, if you can do this now, the leaf is green. What of when the leaf is dry? And you know another word he made, statement he made that really turned my mentality around. When the Pharisees came to him and said, Why is it that your disciple does not fast? Do you know what Jesus called fast and bear? He said, Why should they mourn? Do not see the master. He said it is dead that they will start fasting. He didn't now call it morning. I don't know what I'm making sense. Mm -hmm. Jesus was saying, I'm nearer to you now. And because I'm nearer to you now, the green light is on. I'm nearer to you now, and as I'm nearer to you now, yes, you don't need to fast. All that you needed to fast to get, you don't need to do it because I'm here. You just talk to me, I give it to you. So that was what he was saying. He said, seek the Lord. Now, that is near, you can find him. Continue. Alright, service. Yes. Let the wicked lead their way of life and teach their way of thinking. Oh God, do you know what wickedness means in the Bible? Do you know what we explain wickedness in English language? It's not near to what wickedness means spiritually. Do you know what wickedness means spiritually? Heart. Wickedness means hurting God. So if I say now, you are wicked to me, you are hurting me. So that was what God was saying in a sense to that guy he gave one talent. Say so you lazy and wicked, son. You are ashamed of me. You are ashamed to tell people that I am your Lord. That's laziness. And your life is hot. What you say hurts me. Say, take him away. He has been hurting me. But wickedness means something in the ears of men. Atomic bomb. <laughs> That's as simple as that. So if God says you are wicked, he said, take your way. Your way is hurting me. Whenever I remember the way you live your life, it hurts me. Let the wicked, let those hurting me stop hurting me. Let those that are making, you know, hurting me, stop hurting me. Continue, sir. Let the wicked forget. Can you read it again? Start from six again. I'm sorry. Let them turn to other laws. Okay. Our God, He is merciful and quick to forgive. Mm. Eight. My thoughts says the Lord. You pray, you want me to answer immediately. Please! Stop! My plans are not your plans. My ways are not your ways. Continue, sir. As high as the heavens are above the earth. 
Yep. So high are our ways and thoughts above yours. You see now, you see how wise God, the height of wisdom, God of praise. Continue, sir. My world, my world is left the snow and the rain. Yes. I come down from the sky to water the earth. That's the message now. Come, sir. Come. Let me borrow you some. See you later. So that you don't sleep. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Now we are going to the message. Come, message now. 10 and 11 is where the message is. Come this way. Praise the Lord. Okay. Don't let me come this side. <laughs> Continue. This now, these two set of people. Let me put you this way. Straight, let's stay here. Because you are blocking everywhere. Too big. Uh -huh. You see, these two sets of people, both are loved by God. And both they will make heaven on the last day. But there's something that they will decide by themselves. And that decision will determine who will be greater in heaven and who will be less. Being greater in heaven and being less in heaven, there are those that will have hundred cities. But there are those that will only have one city. There are those when Jesus wants to visit, they will be the two eyes, they will be the assistant commander of Jesus, flying with him anywhere he wants to fly. But there are those that they will be asked, I'm just using earthly things to define everything. Please prepare the food when we come back we eat. Are you getting my point now? So which among the two will you want to be in heaven? Is it the one Jesus wants to go somewhere? He said, please, I want to go. Can you join me? Are you available? No, it's, it's, it's like I, 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 I told you about, you want to do something now. There are people he calls. He doesn't call every any person to go. I want to go to UK. I have a meeting. Can you escort me to UK? And when you are going, you have been taken care of. There are those in heaven that will always be before everything Jesus does with them. But there are those before they are brought in to even enjoy one thing or the other. It takes time. So that's the message today. And if you cannot get the character of those that will be chief in heaven, and the character of those that will just be ordinary, they enter heaven, but when they enter heaven, look at how they enter. There are those that when they enter, wow, is that my house? Oh, beautiful, awesome. I see my name there. But there are those that will enter. Hey, where are we now? <laughs> Oh, say God forbid, you will not be that type. But to go beyond the glory, all of us are going to heaven. Yeah. But God forbid that I will be your pastor on earth. And when I go to heaven, I will not be your leader again. No, 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 no. I felt God. I felt destiny. Are you getting my plan? Yes. Now, are you fasting again? Let's start fasting. Start it afresh. Read it as a pastor you are. And read it to them. One. Verse 10. Uh -huh. My world is like a snow and the rain. My world is like a snow and the rain. That comes down from the sky to water the earth. It comes on this generation. It waters on everybody. My children, yeah? They make the crops grow. Without this rain, this crops will not grow. And provide seed for sowing and food to eat. My God, continue, sir. Eleven. Yes. So also will be the world that I speak. Yes. It will not fall, fail to do what I plan for it. Okay, now. It will do everything I sent it to do. Praise the Lord. I like this. Can I get a um, like water? Give me that one. Can you read your version first? Verse 10. Verse 10. Mm. Yep. Yeah. Right? Listen, but no, 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 no
reference, please. Be, be slow about that. To give seed who? To? To the sower, yes. And bread to the eater. And bread to the eater. Now listen, these are the two type of people. Both of them will make heaven. But what will determine their position in heaven is the one they choose. Either seed or bread. It doesn't use mind the example I use you to do. Right? <laughs> Let's say you are the word asking for bread. Now the word of God comes with word of God, with snow, water. It comes to give what? Bread to the eater, seed to the sower. Let's say you are the one that's asking for bread. Hold it, hold the plate. Then you are the one asking for seed. Hold this one. Now these are the two people. The word of God comes according to what you are asking, we will give to you. <laughs> Pastor Emma, I know you want to preach it to me, <laughs> but I want to concentrate because this is where the message is. <laughs> now, Lord, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I can pray, I can pray. I preach on most half of my message last week. Without this thing being on. <laughs> and when you use it without, when, you, when I speak without the microphone, there is no filtration. It doesn't filter. <laughs> so we all sound in Africa, Africa. But when I, use, when I put it on, it started sounding a little bit us, you know? <laughs> so this one, all her life, she has not come to the level of knowing that God can do something better than prayer. His prayer life is bread, bread, bread. And God said, my word, as you go, anyone that asks for bread, give bread. Now this one is asking for seed. Say, anyone that asks for seed, give seed. This one asking for bread, do you know what he's asking for? Already made. He doesn't want to contribute. He doesn't want to help God to build his church. He doesn't want to nothing. He doesn't want anything to go out of him. He goes outside, he tells people, God is good, God is good, God is good. God is don't you see I'm enjoying him? And God is willing to be giving him bread. He's not asking God for ready-made. 
He wants something he will see. He wants to be also a miracle worker. Then he will come and take the lamb. Remember, this one, he really asked for bread. God gave him bread. He ate and he slept. And his body is looking very beautiful. But this one he goes, plant. Three months, even if he's planted corn, he cannot eat it. Or oh, hear this. Do you know the disadvantage about this one? It's only when God wants to give you that he'll give you. <laughs> it's only when God wants to give you. You cannot determine and say, every season I must have it. It's only when God wants to give you bread, he'll give you. But what about this one? What about this one? What about this one? When this one, when his corn grows, or avocado, it doesn't need prayer to harvest it. But this one needs prayer every day. Listen to me, church. Mark what I'm telling you. Anyone that walks soft must pray hard. And anyone that walks hard will pray soft. Did that make sense? If you determine in your life to walk hard, you will pray less. But if you determine in your life to walk soft, you will pray hard. Do you know why? Your prayer and the labor of your hand can give you the same thing. It's in the Bible. Your prayer, and, but who knows when God will answer? But you know, you can make your life very easy by taking seed from God and you plant it and you build a shade of your own. Am I really making sense? Now listen, do you know when God start counting for the success of this seed sower? As soon as he takes the seed. The more seed he bears, the more kingdom he gives him in heaven. This one is only eating God's food though. He's not contributing to the growth of the kingdom. Oh yes, remember. Jesus said, don't forget, don't kill them. He say, as long as they are saying Jesus, Jesus is Lord, they are for us. If they are not against us, they are for us. I want to, that's what I'm talking about today. As Christians, there are Christians, they, all they do is, God give me this. God give me that. God give me this. You say, he that I shall receive. It is by Bulika, you will be blessed. But if you don't ask, you will not get. But there are those that are no more using their prayer time to pray, God, give me this. God, give me that. Do you know why? They already have it at their backyard. What they need. They now use it to pray, God, bless the other brother. God, bless the other sister. Because you have enough. What are you looking for? There are Christians only. What they are building is their own life and their own family. Prosperity doesn't lie in what you have. It lies in what you do for others. Am I making sense? This type of Christian is always no good profession against me shall prosper. But this type of Christian is no good profession against the church of God's people shall prosper. He doesn't have time to pray for himself because he's more than blessed. He has followed God and found out that as long as the earth remained, seed time and harvest shall not cease. That God has handed over the earth to reward every seed soul. This is how our lives are. This is how we are living our lives on earth. God said, as my water comes to water the earth, it will give bread to the eater and give seed to the soul. 
In Matthew chapter 5, verse 19, you know what he says? He said, any of the one that 